Hello, and thanks for being here. Today I'll be making shortcut dressing. Let's get started. I have a can of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna get that out of there and into the pan. Make sure you get all that deliciousness out of that can. I'm going to need every bit of it. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to season it up a little more with some onions that I have cut up. And everything that I'm adding into this recipe is to your liking. If you decide to make it, just add it as you see fit. These are celery seeds. Now, I think I've told you about these celery seeds before. I mean, sorry, celery flakes. They are so delicious and flavorful for some reason. They taste better than fresh celery. So sometimes I'll use this. But a lot of times I'll just add the celery because some, some people like the bite in celery. And that's understandable. I'm adding some poultry seasoning. And I put it in my hand just so that I won't make any errors by pouring too much. It's hard to get it out when you put it in. And this is uh, sage. We're doing the same thing with the sage. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pepper. Or as much as you like, like I always say. And we're going to add some butter. Mm-hmm. Butter makes it better. Stir it and get it all combined. Some milk. That's a half a cup. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it all. Well, I'll use it all, but maybe not here. You don't want to waste it, right? Mm-hmm. Looking good already. Yeah, sometimes we just want to get in the kitchen and uh, get out as quickly as possible. And so this is a, a, it's pretty quick. And, you know, I'm using all shortcuts. Instead of going through, I mean, you know, um, you know, scratch is a wonderful thing <laughs> and a delicious thing. But sometimes we just don't want to go through all of that. So I'm using some stovetop stuffing. Quick story, I went to Kroger's to find the stovetop stuff and it was almost $4 a box. I couldn't believe it. So, I went over to Ollie's and I found it for $0.99. Cents. What a difference. The only thing was, um, this this one right here from Ollie's has the seasoning already in the, the, um, the stuffing. I didn't really care for that, but the one that I usually buy from Kroger's has the seasoning packet all by itself. So I guess you get what you pay for. Oh, sorry about all that noise. See? It's all mixed together. And here's another shortcut. I'm used, I've used um, buttermilk, uh, Martha White, muffin, and cornbread mix. And all you need is some water or some milk. It can't get any easier. And look at it. It's really delicious to look at it. Look. That's some good cornbread. It's not as stiff as when we make it, but it's some good cornbread. And we're just going to break this off in here. And, um, chunks like, if you want it finer, make it finer. A lot of people like it, like, ground down, like, really, really fine. But I need to leave some bite to it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, we're going to add some onions that I've already chopped up. Mm hmm And we're leaving that there on low to simmer. Going to add some pepper. Mm 
and that's the milk that's left over for making a sauce and we're going to use that because we're definitely not going to throw it out in here we're going to put in some chicken broth we're going to add it in um a bit at a time until we in um until we get our perfect moisture and some people like it really wet i like it really wet in this case and others like it more dry so Take your time, a little at a time, and add in your broth. Get it mixed well. Mm-hmm. And hold on, we're going to use that milk, too. Definitely. And also, you know, sometimes... Um, Others oh, add egg. I don't add egg in my dressing. I may try it one day just to see what that's about, but uh, thus far I've never added egg into my dressing. And there, there we added in the milk. And we're going to add it all in. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, that's why I slowed down. I'm like, did I ever? I don't want to say I never tried it, but I really did. But not that I remember. Have I ever tried it with egg in it? I'm definitely going to give that a shot, though. I'm open-minded when it comes to recipes. Most recipes, not all of them. Let's taste this. Mm. Okay, that's not bad. Now we're going to add some butter. Butter makes it better, right? Some butter. Stir that around. Get it mixed well. I'm going to try to show you the texture that this is. We're going to put the rest of this little milk in here, though. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Like this. Okay, we buttered our pan really nicely. Now we're going to get this dressing at the bottom of this pan. We're going to um, use the same um, concept, for sake of the right word, um, as lasagna. Let's just get it in there on the bottom, and I'm just, I'm just going about it uh, so nicely, I'm patting it down really nicely. But you don't have to do that. You just get it in the pan. Mm -hmm. You want it as thick or as thin as you would like it. The thinner you got it, the more moist uh, your dressing is going to be because we're going to add the sauce also on top of the moist dressing. Just keep that in mind when you're layering. Mm-hmm. So that part was easy, huh? Pretty easy. Now we've had the sauce simmering. And um, we're going to get ready to put the sauce on top of the dressing. I hope you give this a try. I think you'll like it and appreciate it. Like I said, we want to work as, as we don't want to work so hard anymore. Let's take some of the the uh, 
I was in the kitchen and different parts of the house. Let's make it as simple as we possibly can. Not that we don't want to do a good job at it. We just don't want it to take as long, you know. Time is moving so fast. You want to try to save some for yourself and your family. Surprise. Guess what that is? That's some canned chicken. Uh-huh. That's what I said. <laughs> and this is two cans. And um, I like it because it's moist. It's well seasoned. But not too much. Just well seasoned. And um, it tastes good. It really tastes good. And so we're going to put this on the top. And as much as, uh, I continue to say that, but I'll say it again, as much or as little as you would like. I don't want to bore you with saying the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. Let's make that time all conclusive, okay? I have to remember that for myself. I'll end up saying it again. And so, we got that on there, see? Now we're going to season it with some dash, and uh, that's dash onion and herb, or herb, however you care to pronounce it. And we're going to finish up with this uh, salt-free seasoning as well, because this right here is not going to go a long ways. It's just a little bit in here left. I'm going to have to run out later and get some more. Mm-hmm. They sell the other ones, the original and I think the Italian dash. They sell that in the really, see that? In the really um, big bottles, but they don't sell the other chicken and onion and herb in the big ones that I know of. Okay. And now we're going to add some more. on top of the dressing and that's the three steps to doing that now we're going to continue to do this until we're at the top and it's full We're adding our last layer of chicken to the top. Like that. I'm gonna add this last little bit of seasoning to the top. Dash onion and herb. And here it is. Looks like I'm running short on this dressing here. No problem. I'm gonna fix that in just a sec. I'm gonna leave just a bit in there. Mm-hmm. 
Now let's make a little bit more. Then break some of this cornbread off. We're going to do it in chunks, okay? Add some onions, onions, it looks like something's irritating my hand right there, that's what I was showing you. <clears throat> Add some poultry seasoning and some sage. You're going to shake that, shake it a little bit, be careful. Pepper. Celery flakes, of course. The rest of the chicken broth and some water. Yeah, we just need this to finish up. We're almost there. I did a mac and cheese um, video, shortcut. It was just before this one. You probably should go and check that out because it was delicious. Check it out, okay?
Now we're going to add a few dots of butter. Butter makes it better. You know what I say. Yeah, that's going to help it brown. And of course, it's going to add just that much more flavor. Just some little dots all around. The oven is heated at 375. We're going to get it in that oven and make sure you put something underneath it in case it boils over if you, you know, do a full pan like I did. You don't want it to get on the bottom of the stove and have to clean that up. So, or either put it on the baking sheet. Yeah, and we're going to cook it for about 55 minutes to one hour. You'll know when it's ready because your nose will definitely tell you. Oh yeah, we're going to sprinkle the top with a little bit of no salt um, seasoning, just a little bit. Just want to show you what it looks like before it goes in. And here's what it looks like out of the oven. I think I cooked that for about an hour. And look at it. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. That's hot. I have some cranberry, some jelly cranberry uh, sauce. Gotta have some cranberry sauce with your dressing. Just won't seem right if you don't. It won't taste the same either. And look at that moist, moist dressing. Mmm. Yeah. This is a real quickie for you. Look at it. And it's smoking hot. But we're going to taste it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Get some gravy on there. I'm going to show you how I made that gravy. So don't go anywhere. Right after we taste this, I'm going to show you how I did it. Because... It's delicious too, and it's also a shortcut. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Now let's have a bite. It's the best part. Mm-hmm. For you. For me. Mmm. That's really good. And here's how I made the dressing. Oh, I'm sorry. Not the dressing. The gravy. I'm going to use um, maybe about four tablespoons of butter. My pan is already heated. I'm going to melt it this way, but before we add this turkey gravy mix, another shortcut. <laughs> We're going to wait until the butter gets nice and bubbly. <whistles> then we'll know it's ready. Like that. There you go. Get it in there and start to stir immediately because you don't want any lumps. It's nothing worse than a lumpy gravy, even though I have a fix for that too. But who wants to, to even go through that? Let's try to get it right the first time. So continue to stir. Mm-hmm. You're going to like this too. Well, because it says turkey gravy, it doesn't mean that it's to your taste. It just has a turkey flavor. You're still going to have to add your other ingredients to make it just right. And that was water I added in to thin it out a bit. And you're going to add um, as much as you need. If you like a really thick gravy like this, then don't add any more. But I wouldn't recommend that. 
um, so we're gonna add a little more until it's not too thick and not too thin. Mm-hmm. Let's add some pepper. You see how I'm continuing to stir. And now we're going to add some poultry seasoning. Mm -hmm. I wasn't afraid to shake it that time. I wasn't afraid. This is a little bit of gravy. If I do this wrong, I'll just start over again and it won't be so bad. But not when you're making dressing. taste it yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm that's pretty good but we need a little bit of sage you know that flavor that flavor reminds you of the holidays. It reminds me of the holidays. <laughs> yes, it does. Smells like the holidays. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. But we just need to add one more thing. Or maybe two. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see. We're going to add some... Um, chives. I'm sorry. I slept on that one. But you can add parsley. Uh, you can add green onions. You can add whatever you want to add. Or you don't have to add anything at all. You can just have the gravy as it is. But you know we want to make it look good. I want it to be appealing to the eyes. <clears throat> and good to the tummy, right? Mm-hmm. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. And remember to pray. And then pray some more. Pray for her. Pray for him. Pray for you. Pray for them. Pray for us. Don't stop praying. Pray. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share with friends and family. Excuse me. And comment. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, you stay safe, you stay well, and you stay blessed. And remember that God loves you. And so do I. Make you some. Until next time. Later.